Yeah. Hey, Collective, it's your girl, Spiritual Sag. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Make sure you guys click the all bell so that you guys get notified when I upload. Spirit. Thank you guys who have already subscribed, who've been supporting my channel. Thank you guys from the bottom of my feet. Okay, we got the Six of Wands with the Six of Cups. All right. Okay. Six of Wands, Six of Cups. What else, Spirit? With the Hierophants. Okay. Someone's kids could be very uh, successful. <laughs> oh, excuse me, child. Okay, but now we got the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be going back and forth in their head about something that they wanted to do. Something that they wanted to do ever since they were little. You need to go on and do it. It's going to make you very successful. Okay? I don't know what this is. Only you do. It's going to make you very successful. Period. You could have gave up on that dream. You know, life happens. You have kids and things change. But I promise you, if you do it, you'll become a star. Just period. Maybe it goes against your beliefs. Whatever this is you want to do, that could be why you are <clears throat> going back and forth in your head. Some of you guys could want to be a speaker, teacher, healer. Um, yeah, it could go against your beliefs, but I'm telling you, you need going to do it. It's time to nurture yourself, take care of yourself, do what's best for yourself. These are your dreams, not everybody else's dreams, okay? Yeah, and see, somebody could regret not doing something in the past that would have been very successful. Everybody's on a different timeline, okay? Some of you guys, you're going to regret it if you don't do it. Others of you already regret it because you didn't do it. So, what's this? Yeah, now you have the Ace of Wands here. <clears throat> Some type of action. The Ace of Wands could be, you know, this person could have like a very passionate, brand new beginning. This could be some kind of creative idea with the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. Somebody is all in their head about it. But this is this was their calling with the Wheel of Fortune here. This is something that you were called to do. And that's why it won't go nowhere. You're stuck in your head about this. Even when you try to move on and do other things, you're not gonna you're not gonna find your <clears throat> your soul ain't gonna be happy. Okay, the way I keep clearing my throat. You need to go ahead and speak your truth, stand in your truth, because you will be some type of star. Okay, somebody here, they had a, a beautiful opportunity in the past and they didn't take it. Maybe they put family first with the hyphen here. Listen, man, this channel, it's a lot of people that don't like my channel because I be telling folks, listen, fuck what the family got to say. You were put here to live out your life. Your parents chose their path. They chose what they wanted to do. You got to choose what you want to do. Even if you are married, bruh. So maybe you were in this, you were in a marriage and you, you went to your spouse and you told your spouse, look, I've been wanting to do this ever since I was whatever. And your spouse told you no. And you didn't do it, but you can't get it off your mind. That's because this was your destiny. And just period. Again, the star is here again. Somebody not listening, child. Spirit gonna keep dealing with you. Because this is something that you were supposed to do. Have you ever thought about um, whoever this is you are married to, that person being jealous? People have jealous mates all the fucking time. If this person really loved your care, whether it's a, a, a partner or a parent, a friend, whoever... If they really cared about you, they're not going to go against your dreams. They're going to tell you to fulfill your dreams. Period. So this person's very fucking selfish. Yes, they did this shit to hurt you. And it really could be family with the damn Ten of Pentacles. And so now somebody walking the fuck away. Or they could be going back. Should I walk away? Should I not? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Baby. Confirmation. Should I walk away? Should I not? Lord have mercy. This is the one thing people should never have to die with. And it's regret. 
So I will tell you this. If you can't make up your mind because, you know, ten, ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant, that's family with the Six of Cups. So look, take your week. Go in hermit mode by yourself. If they love you, if they won't let you walk away for good, damn it, they'll at least let you get a week by yourself. And when they don't, that's a telltale sign that this person wants to keep you stuck. So you tell this person, whoever this is, that you need a week to yourself. By yourself, just time to think. They ain't gonna try, they ain't gonna want to give it to you because they know you're gonna come up with the conclusion to walk away. Because this is your destiny. This is gonna happen regardless. Even if you don't take this opportunity, you're eventually gonna walk away from whatever this is. So, like I'm saying, don't die with regret, child. Somebody's supposed to be very successful, six of ones with the star very successful and they're allowing their family or their spouse to keep them stuck fuck that shit i wish that bitch would we hear me everybody ain't got the balls that i got i got some heavy nuts so now you got the ten of wands holding on to this is just as heavy like what the hell what's this spirit three of pentacles in reverse yeah because whoever this is you're with they're working against you Mm -hmm. This person's working against you, not with you. That's why it's important for you. We saw that Queen of Pentacles. It's time to nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Do what the hell it is that you want to do, child. No matter how different or how funny it may seem. Let The only reason I knew it, the only reason these motherfuckers be laughing and talking shit is because they're dark. And here you are being of light. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo. You are being of light. You were chosen ever since you was a child, okay? And this motherfucker is a dart. And they were sent in your life to keep you from your dreams, period. And unfortunately, they part of your family. Either you were born into this family or someone you have a family with. Either way, it's time to walk away from the bullshit. Jealousy. Five of swords. I knew it. I felt it. Okay? They are... <laughs> What I say, somebody's supposed to be successful. The emperor, that's boss energy, entrepreneur. So whoever this person is or people trying to figure out how they can keep you stuck, hangman. They stress out trying to find different ways to keep you stuck. This is someone who don't want you to become, they don't want you to go toward your full potential. You ain't supposed to be up under nobody. An emperor is supposed to be successful as hell with the star. You are literally supposed to be some type of star. What are you doing letting these motherfuckers... Oh, my God. Again, Spirit says, take some time to yourself. Go within yourself and ask yourself what the fuck it is that you really want. Because you got some toxic people around you who are trying to keep you down. It's because they're jealous. It could be more than one. Somebody could be in a whole family of karmics. Most of the time, that's how it be. When you are a being of light, you be surrounded by darkness. On a soul level. The devil show up with a smile, child. What's that? Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. These people want to keep you right there, stuck to them, so they can mooch off your energy. Hell no. Spirit says, you are earth angels. Time for you to balance out your energy and do what's right for you. For once. For once in your life, it's time for you to do what's right for you. I knew you were an earth angel. With the king of cups, you are a light worker here to teach people about love. But these narcissistic vampire motherfuckers they ain't doing nothing but sucking you dry somebody's also going through ascension issues like their back could be hurting they they knees they head that's because you are ascending okay opening up to new gifts it's time for you you've outgrown this things have to change here death you've outgrown it it's gonna come to an end you're already at the 10 can't handle it no more it's time to release it I can't make it up to a source with the world. It's time to let it go and, and go in hermit mode. Get some time to yourself. You have been depleted by these people. You've been giving and giving and giving till you can't give no more. But when you are a being of light, that's what these energies do. They suck you dry. They suck your ass dry. All they want you to do is work and bring the money home. But you're keeping yourself small because you're supposed to be some type of entrepreneur or something like that a boss supposed to be very successful you were born you were put here to be very successful ten of pentacles six of wands confirmation star with the emperor 
And if you're sharing it with the wrong people, you're not going to ever reach that level of success. It might be success to them because they ain't going to never get nowhere. They got to eat off of people, mooch off of people. This emperor needs to be paired up with someone who's like-minded. So an emperor needs to be with an empress. Just period. Not no damn karmic. So it's time for you to stand up for yourself and tell these motherfuckers, look, this is what I want. Okay? Like it or you don't. But I'm still going to move forward. Could be love. Could be real love. Again, look at that. This Ace of Cups is giving me that you have been anointed by the Most High God. And your family is fighting to keep your ass the fuck stuck. This is a spiritual fight on a soul level. Okay? Um, it can manifest on a physical. Like every time you get ready to do something good for yourself, your family always trying to send you down the wrong path. That's how it can manifest on the physical. But what you need to realize, this is spiritual warfare. The light against the dark. And like I said, you were anointed to speak some type of truth. You really could be a speaker. You have a gift. You command attention. Yes, with the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Page of Wands, you are a messenger. You are a being of light. The King of Cups, you're some type of messenger. And I feel like you're supposed to be... Uh, Famous, successful, for real. Six and ones, I hit twice. Because you were anointed. Your soul has evolved enough for you to get out here and do this. You have things that you could teach people because you are an emperor. And these energies know it and they want to keep you stuck right there in that little box so they can continue to drain your energy. Hell no. Nah. Enough is enough. Step into your power. Speak your truth. Your whole, your work is about to change. Okay, you're about to get blessed with the Ace of Pentacles. You're gonna be speaking your damn truth, and you're gonna you're gonna become very successful because of it. And these people know where you're going; they can't go with you. So guess what they're gonna try to do? Keep you stuck. I had to go through that, but I just started pulling back from people. God started taking people out of my life little by little, and sometimes I couldn't even control who was coming out of my life. And at this time, because whoever you are, you're going through an ascension. Don't try to control it. You just need to know the Most High God doesn't take people out of your life without the intentions of replacing it with something better. So for this emperor, this karmic is going to be removed, three of pentacles in the reverse, so that an empress can come in. And the two of you are going to build some type of empire. But you're going to have to go in hermit mode for a while. Okay? Maybe you've been in hermit mode. I don't know. Everybody's timeline is different. This could be uh, cur currently. This could be future. And it could be past. So take it where it resonates. But I promise you, somebody's supposed to be successful as fuck. And they got a karmic trying to keep their ass stuck. What else, spirit? Mm-hmm. Nine to one. I want you to just hold on to them. It's like everything that this person has set before you, you have made it through. They're actually shook. This devil here, they don't understand how they set traps in front of you and you are still able to push through. Just because you are a being of light, you're chosen. And you're about to come up out this situation. Just look back at your life. How many things this hierophant person has done or this ten of pentacle family, what they've done to betray you or make life hard for you. And you still manage to pull through. Okay. What else, Spear? Nine of Cups. Somebody's wishes is going to be fulfilled. Like, I knew it. King of Pentacles. Hell no. Nah. Whatever this is, lay this shit to rest. You are supposed to be successful this lifetime. And that's why this devil person is trying so hard to keep you stuck because they know it. A lot of the time, the devil can see the light before you can. So they'll try to keep you insecure, try to make you, try to keep you small. Someone here is trying to keep somebody small so they won't reach that pinnacle of success because they know good and damn well this person's supposed to be successful, a boss, an entrepreneur. You have to lay this shit to rest and stand up for yourself. Realize that you are the fucking magician. Mm -hmm. It's all about choices, child. What you gonna do? Because these motherfuckers can only do what you allow them to do. Confirmation. That's it. 
They can only do what you're going to allow them to do. If you weren't about them talking about you, they do that anyway. Because you are being of light. You always love to help people. You like to see people smile. You're the king of cubs. You'll give the shirt off your fucking bag. So these dark motherfuckers are going to talk about you anyway. Some of y'all dealing with a, a Scorpio or Capricorn or Taurus. A Leo. A Aries and Aquarius. These motherfuckers are going to talk shit about you regardless. So at this point, what you stand for? You can't never please these people. Every time you think you are making them happy, they set the bar higher. Fuck that shit. Because they want you to feel like you're beneath them. You weren't born to be beneath these folks. You're actually here to teach these folks some shit. But they want you to make, they want to make you think that they above you. It's because they know on the soul level they ain't shit. Sorry, but not sorry. Okay? So it's time for your ass to call judgment on the situation as you're being guided to move the fuck on. Mm-hmm. Ten of Swords. That's what's hidden. These people want to secretly betray you. So you got to stand up for yourself. Okay? You could have been putting your dreams and your plans and the things that you wanted to do on hold for these people. What in the fuck is they doing for you? Not a damn thing. And then they bitch and complain about this. You put all your shit on hold for them and they still bitch and complain. That's because this is a spiritual fight. You are a being of light with the sun and this motherfucker's dark. They were sent here to kill, steal, and destroy. Period. Page of Swords. I feel like you're watching and trying to gather information. You could be in this hermit mode now. You could have closed out this cycle already. Um, maybe you're watching a teacher or something. Just trying to gather information, put things into perspective. Because you've been under the direction of this Ten of Pentacles Hierophant person for so fucking long. You don't even know who you are. You done lost yourself. Dealing with the evil, folk. Trying to people please. So you're getting some type of guidance from someone. Okay? Yep. You're learning new shit. That's going to lead you towards your happiness. And help you to find your confidence. With the queen, of, the queen of wands here. And that's the type of people that you need to be around. I told you. You were being guided toward a like minded individual. Okay? People who are going to build you up. Not make life heavy for you. That's how you know you with the wrong motherfucker. If you got to fight that hard to keep something going or this, people are stuck in these old paradigms. Oh, well, work must be hard. A relationship must be hard. No, the fuck it must not. Okay? A lot of people didn't live their whole life with karmics. They didn't even know that's what they was going through. And Spirit says, that's the damn truth. When you get with this like-minded individual, someone who's on your level, someone who's going to build you up, that's equal give and take. And that is what you're being guided to. Okay, what else? Spirit. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Oh my God. The only reason you can't make up your mind is because you haven't been used to listening to your intuition. King and Queen of Cups. This is your natural match. The two of you are beings of light. But you have been so used to Letting your ego, you know, trying to please these people, trying to be hard and take on. There's a lot of burdens you were under because of this family, this higher thing. You have to just release all of it. Start anew, okay? This new year, you need to completely, don't bring none of this shit with you into the new year. Don't. I wouldn't, child. I would leave that, let that shit go. It's just going to be more of the same shit. I would let it go, child. Get up, spirit. Yeah, king of cups. Didn't we just see that queen of cups? Mm-hmm. Yep, there she go right there. That's what you're being guided to, like-minded individuals. Because y'all are going to be a boss. The two of y'all are going to become a star. You're going to get a lot of public attention for whatever this is your soul was called to do with judgment here. You can't do shit with this dark motherfucker. They start to get jealous. Like, if y'all were to go in business together, say for instance... Just keep it simple. Say y'all had a YouTube channel. And both of y'all on YouTube showing y'all face. If you were to get one more like more than this person, they're going to get jealous. And they're going to try to tear you down. Ten of swords. Confirmation. You can't go in business with the devil. 
Jealousy, five of swords. That's why you have to go in business with like-minded individuals. So this is going to be a business and a love partnership. That's what it's going to be. Okay, yep. <laughs> love is with the two of cups. This is twin flame. That's where the relationship, the real solid relationship is. Not with this devil up. Somebody's in, currently in relationship with a karmic. Trying to build something. It would be hard as hell. It will feel like you dragging every fucking day. That is a telltale sign you are not on the right path. It's going to be easy breezy right here. It's still going to be work, but it's going to be fun work. You got motherfuckers on the same level, child. Okay? Mm. Yeah, it'll be like a three of cups celebrations. Ain't no celebration. Death with the Ten of Wands ain't no celebration because secretly these motherfuckers jealous of you. They want to try to take you down. They don't like the fact that you get attention. They don't like that you naturally, that people naturally come to you for advice. Because people are going to be guided towards like-minded individuals. Okay? So good-hearted people are going to be guided to come towards you and whoever you with don't like it. So they're trying to find a way to block you. Some of them do it by way of spell work. I got time for that. Okay. There it is again. Don't be in regret. Don't let 2022 come in with this bullshit. Okay. It's time to move on. Stand up for yourself. Okay. Heal what is no longer serving you. You gave it your all. You can't you can't give it. You gave it everything you had. You damn near worked yourself to death. And this energy still wanted more. Like, damn, bitch, what you want me to cut off my arm and give it to you? She would have been like, yep. Hell nah, girl, you got life fucked up. So whatever this is you're going through, Spirit says this is a blessing in disguise here. Somebody's going to be a medium. Someone has the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones, loved ones king and queen of cups so both of y'all could be very intuitive that could be the business that y'all gonna start together like i said it's gonna be very different than this traditional shit i can't make it up cut the deck just like this life purpose man when y'all gonna start listening the purpose of your life is to serve in ways that bring great joy to yourself and others i said you're gonna get a lot of public attention for this you were chosen to be a star, to be a boss. And if you were trying to do something, you were doing it with the wrong motherfucker. So your reputation could be on the line. Money could be slow. You could be working twice as hard for a little pay. Or as soon as you get paid, it's out the window because you're with the wrong person. Okay? So you're being guided to eight of cups of situation, going hermit mode. I feel like you're already there. I feel like with that page of swords, you're watching someone. You're gathering some information. Put your life in perspective because you're being guided to go toward this medium, this psychic, this queen of cups, okay? Because like I said, y'all going to work together, period. Yeah, and so for, for a lot of you, this king of cups has always wanted to come toward this medium. But because she is a psychic, his family, ten of pentacles, ten of cups, was telling him not to do it. You know why they telling him not to do it? Because they know the two of them going to be very successful. The devil be knowing shit, y'all. Yeah, he heart shocker. The man could is completely in love with this queen of cups who is a medium. Wow. He could have wanted to commit to you for a long time and his family telling him, no, no. Mm -hmm. This empress. Innocence right there. That's the empress energy. Queen of Cups energy. Spirit is telling this emperor, reward yourself, child. I feel like it's really a King of Cups. And y'all, are the King and Queen of Cups together with life purpose, you guys are going to become an emperor, some bosses, a star. You're going to be publicly known and rewarded for what this is you're doing because you were called to do it. You were chosen to do this a long time ago. And that's why these dark motherfuckers are trying so hard to keep you off your path, Okay. New partner, can't make it up. That's where you're being guided to go to a new partner. Just period. You are a sensitive. The card says 
You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Because someone's going through an ascension. Respect your sensitivity by avoiding harsh items, situation, and relationships. You got to come out of this toxic relationship. Because you are an empath. And a lot of the times, empaths attract narcissistic-ass people. So they can suck their energy, suck you dry. And it's why it feels like the fucking ten of wands. Because secretly, they're trying to take you out of here on soul level. You're being guided to release this person. Go towards this new partner, two of cups, lover. And that's the relationship. This is lifetime partnership. Life purpose. This is the, the person you were destined to be with. And yes, you guys are going to do work together. And you're going to be very successful here. So release and surrender what is no longer serving you. You're a king of cups. Your intuition is already telling you this is not the right person. That's why you keep going back and forth in your head. Because you know you ain't supposed to be here. And you don't want to tell these people. It ain't none of their damn business. It's not none of their business where you're going. Just know that you're going. Going places, baby. Don't let nobody mess up your life path and your dreams. Because this lifetime, this is what they chose to do. Become a blockage. This person or people, they blocking your blessings, okay? But Spirit says, this is going to be, it's a blessing in disguise. You're going to come up out of it. And you're going to be guided right over here towards this psychic. And so what? People talk about me all the time. I used to care, I ain't going to lie. I used to care about what people say. I don't give a fuck now. I don't, okay? I'm a medium, so what? What? <laughs> okay? I help a lot of people, bro. So, it's more people that I help than people who talk shit. And even if I only help one person, I've done my job. I've done what I was called to do. So, you think I give a fuck about these dark motherfuckers who are lost in the world? The only reason the devil was able to even get in these people, because they lost. They have no sense of direction. This king and queen of cups, they do work for the most high God. That's their life purpose. So, yes, the devil's going to try everything they can to keep these people off their path. Because these two people are chosen. Son with the star, king and queen of cups. Somebody has to get up their confidence. And I feel like this king of cups could be in solitude watching this psychic. As he's trying to build up his confidence. Because his life purpose involves this queen of cups. They both might be mediums. I don't know, child. Somebody's gifted, like a gifted speaker. Just imagine if this person's gifted with speaking and then you got this Queen of Cups who's a medium, how y'all could put y'all gifts together and really help a lot of people. Of course the devil don't want to see that happen. So they try to guilt trip you and put a bunch of shit in your way. Oh, don't go to that psychic. That is, she gonna do this and she gonna do that to you. Listen to your intuition, child. People have ulterior motives. I'm trying to keep you stuck. Because I picked it up from the beginning. I'm like, damn, somebody's supposed to be successful. I'm not letting these motherfuckers keep me down. These people ain't did shit for, with their life. What have they done with their life? And even if they have, it's their path. Your life is not their path. You cannot continue to live your life for these motherfuckers, okay? If you do, your ass going to continue to be stuck. You ain't going to never be happy. Walk around this bitch heartbroken because you didn't take the action that God was telling you to take. Take that action, child. Okay? Move on. All right, that's what I have for y'all. It's your girl's spiritual sage. Congratulations, whatever this is, because I promise you, you're going to be successful as hell. It just appeared. <laughs> All right. Bye.